Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I am going to show you the game between Effingela and Maya Cibulonidze. This very beautiful chess game was played in Aruba in 1992. And where is Aruba? Aruba is a beautiful island in the southern Caribbean Sea. Chess players are lucky, aren't they? They get to see all these wonderful places. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Effingela had white pieces and he started at e4. Maya played b6, going for Owen defense. d4, bishop to b7, attacking the pawn on e4. Defending e6, knight to f3. G6, bishop to g5, attacking the queen. How should black continue? Maya played queen to c8. She considered other moves, surely. Let's have a look why she didn't like other moves. If knight to f6, then e5. This is not good, is it? If bishop to e7, well, black, dark square bishop belongs to g7. What else? If knight to e7, then bishop to f6. What else? Perhaps f6. But this looks very ugly, doesn't it? So Maya played the queen to c8, knight to c3, bishop to g7, gela, castle at kingside d6, rook to e1, placing the rook on the file that will open, knight to d7, e5, d5, Gela played a4, so if black decides to cast the queen side, the files will open on the queen side too, a6, knight to e2, knight to e7, knight to f4, Knight to c6, c3, a5. White to move. How should white continue? Perhaps a queen to d2 comes to mind. And then to move the knight and exchange bishops. Dark square bishops. That's one idea. This is not what Gela played. Gela played h4 is this a good move what do you think maya played h6 ouch where is the bishop going gala continued bishop to f6 bishop takes bishop pawn takes bishop Knight takes bishop. Black is a pawn up. Does white have enough compensation for a sacrifice pawn? What do you think? White to move. How should white continue? White should prove now that he has enough compensation, otherwise h4 was a blunder. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Gala sacrificed the bishop on g6. Pawn takes bishop, but now the pawn on e6 has no defender. Rook takes pawn on e6 check. King to f7, white to move. How would you continue to attack if you had white pieces? Would you play this? Threatening queen takes pawn on g6. Rook to g8, defending. Rook from a to e1. Black to move. Black must be very careful. The position is very difficult. Let's have a look at one random move. 
then rook takes knight on c6, bishop takes rook, knight to e5 check, and after king to e7, knight takes on c6 check. So, Maya played knight to e4, cutting the communications between two rooks. Black to move. Gela cut black knight to pieces. D takes on e4. White to move. What would you do? White. Play the move. And black resigned. The move is... Did you think that this was the move? Well, I thought that would be a move. This is not what Gela played. He played queen to c4 and Maya resigned. One possible line goes like this. Pawn takes knight. Rook takes on c6, discover check. King to e7. Rook takes on c7 check, winning the queen. Let's play a few more moves. Black could have fought for longer, but in the end, white would win the game. Uh, attacking the bishop, bishop to c6, knight takes on g6, and we can stop here. And let's go back to this very interesting position of the game when Gela sacrificed the bishop. Did you find the bishop sacrifice at this position. Perhaps this was not so difficult to find. But I guess in this position h4 was difficult to find. But Gal decided to burn the bridges. Okay. And did you notice in the end this is the position. Black didn't use rook, knight the bishop, but queen was not very useful neither. Interesting game, isn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.